Good morning, dark sun ants. All right, Matthew chapter 23. Jesus denounces the scribes and Pharisees. Then spake Jesus to the multitude and to his disciples, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. All therefore whatsoever they did, you observe, that observe and do. But do not ye after their works, for they say and do not. For they bind heavy burdens, and grievous to be borne, and lay them on men's shoulders, but they themselves will not move them with one of their fingers. But all their works they do, for to be seen of men. They make broad their phylacteries, and enlarge the borders of their garments, and love the uppermost rooms at feast, and the chief seats in the synagogues, and greetings in the markets, and to be called of men, Rabbi, Rabbi. But be not ye called Rabbi, for one is your master, even Christ, and all ye your brethren. And call no man your father upon the earth, for one is your father, which is in heaven. Neither be ye called masters, for one is your master, even Christ. But he that is greatest among you shall be your servant, and whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased, and he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. But woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye shut up the kingdom of heaven against men. For ye neither go in yourselves, neither suffer ye them that are entering to go in. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye devour widows' houses, and for a pretense make long prayer. Therefore ye shall receive the greater damnation. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For ye compass sea and land to make one proselyte, and when he is made, ye make him twofold more the child of hell than yourselves. Woe unto you, ye blind guides, which say, Whosoever shall swear by the temple, it is nothing. But whosoever shall swear by the gold of the temple, he is a debtor. Ye fools and blind, for whether is greater the gold or the temple that sanctifieth the gold. And whosoever shall swear by the altar, it is nothing. But whosoever sweareth by the gift that is upon it, he is guilty. Ye fools and blind, for whether is greater the gift or the altar that sanctifieth the gift. Whoso therefore shall swear by the altar, sweareth by it, and by all things thereon. And whoso, on, and whoso shall swear by the temple, sweareth by it, and by him that dwelleth therein. And he that shall swear by heaven, sweareth by the throne of God, and by him that sitteth thereon. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For ye pay tithe of mint and anise and cumin, and have omitted the weightier matters of the law, judgment, mercy, and faith. These ought ye to have done, and not to leave the other undone. Ye blind gods, which strain at a gnat and swallow a camel. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you may clean the outside of the cup and of the platter, but within they are full of extortion and excess. Thou blind Pharisee, cleanse first that which is within the cup and platter, that the outside of them may be clean also. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For ye are like unto whited sepulchres, which indeed appear beautiful outward, but are within full of dead men's bones and all uncleanness. Even so, ye also outwardly appear righteous. Ah. Appear righteous unto men, but within ye are full of hypocrisy and inequity. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! Because ye build the tombs of the prophets, 
and garnish the sepulchers of the righteous and say, if we had been in the days of our fathers, we would not have been partakers with them in the blood of the prophets. Wherefore ye be witnesses unto yourselves that ye are the children of them which killed the prophets. Fill ye up then the measure of your fathers, ye serpents, ye generations of vipers, how can ye escape the damnation of hell? Wherefore, behold, I send unto you prophets and wise men and scribes, and some of them ye shall kill and crucify, and some of them ye shall ye scourge in your synagogues and persecute them from city to city, that upon you may come all the righteous blood shed upon the earth, from the blood of righteous Abel unto the blood of Zechariah, son of Bar Barachias, whom ye slew between the temple and the altar. Verily I say unto you, all these things shall come upon this generation. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, though that thou that killest the prophets and stonest them which are sent unto thee, how often would I have gathered thy children together, even as a hen gathereth her chickens under her wings, and ye would not... Behold, your house is left unto you desolate, for I say unto you, ye shall not see me henceforth, till ye shall say, Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Alright, so, scribes and Pharisees. Um, scribes and Pharisees were in charge of explaining the law. Um, and... They were known for making great outward signs um, that they were doing things. I mean, you know, they bind heavy burdens, grievous to be born, and lay them on men's shoulders, but they themselves will not move them with one of their fingers. But all their works they do, for to be seen of men, they make broad their phylacteries, phylacteries, and enlarge the borders of their garments, and love the uppermost rooms at feasts, and the chief seats in the synagogues, and greetings in the markets, and to be called rabbi, rabbi. So, he's railing against them because they have all these rules and things that you have to follow, um, but they don't do them themselves. So, it's all about hypocrisy. Woe well, unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye shut up the kingdom of heaven against men. For ye neither go in yourselves, neither suffer ye them that are entering to go in. So he's creating, uh, or the scribes and Pharisees have created a problem where no one is making it in to the kingdom of heaven because of the rules that they're teaching them and the way that they're doing it. He also says that once they convert somebody that they would, for ye compass sea and land to make one proselyte. When he is made, you make him twofold more the child of hell than yourselves. So you're teaching them even worse things. Then he talks about swearing. And how the more specific you are about swearing in the Hebrew culture, um, the more accurate or inaccurate it is. But Jesus is saying, all the things you're talking about are only sanctified because the temple exists. The gold in the temple is worthless without the temple. The sacrifice on the altar is worthless without the altar. And you know, if you think back, Jesus already talked about swearing once before, and he said that, um, let your yes be yes and your nay be nay, and that you don't need to make an oath. <sighs> he goes on to talk about them where they, they claim that if they had been in the days of their fathers, they would not have been partakers with them in the blood of the prophets. 
but ye are the children of them which killed the prophets. Fill ye up then the measure of your fathers. So they're going to pay anyway. <laughs> Even if they didn't do it. And he goes on to say, Wherefore, behold, I sent... I send unto you prophets and wise men and scribes, and some of them ye shall kill and crucify, and some of them ye shall scourge in your synagogues and persecute them from city to city, that upon you may come all the righteous blood shed upon the earth, from the blood of righteous Abel unto the blood of Zechariah, son of Barachias, whom ye slew between the temple and the altar. Verily I say unto you, all these things shall come upon this generation. O oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, thou, thou that killest the prophets and stonest them which are sent unto thee, how often would I have gathered thy children together, even as a hen gathereth her chickens under her wings, and you would not. Behold, your house is left unto you desolate. For I say unto you, ye shall not see me henceforth, till ye shall say, Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. All right, Jesus is getting more specific and more direct because um, his demise is fast approaching. We're only like two chapters out. So he's probably ticking them off a lot more, but he's fulfilling his ministry. All right, y'all. Tried to get y'all some birds and stuff, but I don't have my microphone today. I forgot it. Um, I won't have it probably for a week. So... Y'all just take care of each other. Be good to each other. Love your neighbor as yourself. And remember, God loves us all. Before he sent Jesus, he sent prophets. Look how thick that is. From about here to Matthew is all the prophets. Yeah, let me see if I can get it to spin. I can't get it to it. Hosea, Daniel, Ezekiel, Jeremiah, Isaiah. There's some other ones in there. But the point is, most of this middle of this section is prophets. And that's how God used to deal with us. Now we have the Holy Spirit if you accept salvation. And you get dealt with in that way, which is so much better. All right, y'all. Remember, God loves us all. I love you. Y'all be good to each other, and I'll see you tomorrow. Wise man out.